We're going to create these quick, easy, and very inexpensive Christmas crafts in this upcoming video. Stay tuned. This video will go over some really inexpensive ways to create holiday ornaments that you can use from year to year. So all of these ornaments will be ornaments that you can continue to use even for the next years to come. The easiest way to cut cork I found on, a, on YouTube is to use steam. So you don't have to even use a fancy steamer, just some way to create steam for the cork and it makes it easier to cut. And so that's exactly what I did. The first craft we'll create is the quick craft. That's the quickest craft. These were lace coasters that came as a set and all I did was put a string through one of the parts of the lace. And that's all you have to do. You can use any type of ribbon. If you don't want to damage the lace in any way by putting a string through it, then you can even use a clothespin. It's such an easy thing to do. Okay, so you don't even have to worry about damaging the the lace if you don't have a lace coaster you can actually create one by getting something that has squares defined squares and just cutting it and that's really pretty the next ornament we'll create will be a little snowman now you can go all out and make it more decorative than this snowman but i decided to keep him really simple all I did was hot glue the bottom circle, which is actually a wine cork, to the next circle. And I just held it to make sure it would stay in place. The best part about these crafts is if it comes apart, it's quick and easy to just hot glue it again. And if you want, you can make it even more permanent by using one of those sturdy permanent glues. But for my purpose, I think that this will work out fine. Okay, so the corks actually look like little buttons. So it's so easy to just, if you want, you could put a button on it or you could put some more decorative things on it, gemstones, but I kept it pretty simple. So all I did was I put a little face on him. I had a little red ribbon and there it was. So to give a little variation on the snowman, I decided to use these cedar balls. And the best thing about these cedar balls is easy to glue together. And I put it next to the lace coaster and I think it really looks pretty. So this gives you two options for a snowman. So I think this is a really pretty look if you want to make a, it looks a little bit like an angel. So you have one look which is clearly a snowman and then this looks a little bit like an angel and you could do more to it. But I thought it would be nice to keep these cedar balls really simple. And the best part about it is that you can use it year round once you're done with it as a holiday decoration. You just pop it in your closet or in one of your drawers and bring it out when you need it next year. Just to give you a closer look of that snowman, I put a little face and a little nose on him, a little red ribbon for a scarf. You don't even have to go through that much trouble for it. These trading card protectors are great to craft with. You don't even need to use trading cards. I was trying to focus in on the logo so you could see which ones they are, but any trading card or, or card protector will work. And all you'll do is take a little bit of wrapping paper, a photo, or any piece of art and put it into the holder. And I wanted to show you, I kind of had a little bit of difficulty sliding it in, but that's to be expected. Just take your time. I clearly didn't take as much time as I should have because it got a little squeezed at the end, but just to give you an idea that for the sake of the video I made it, I sped it up a little bit and I cause it to be a little wrinkled. So just to give you that as a little bit of a warning, you can actually put a hole in it so you can tie a ribbon through it. For our purposes, I'll just use a clothespin. pin. 
and so I just put a ribbon through the clothespin. And a little bit later, I'll show you how you can put the ribbon through the actual metal part of the clothespin so you can hang it easier. So I'm giving you some options. Like, you, like I said, you can use a photo, you can use wrapping paper, a card, or a piece of art. This would be great to have your children draw something and then put it in so you can hang it on the Christmas tree and keep it and preserve it for years to come. You could use stickers. That would be fun. If they aren't old enough to draw it, they can still use stickers and allow them to create something really unique. You can fill it with corks or glass gems, and I'll show you that in one moment. So in this upcoming craft, we're going to make that cute little Christmas tree with the cork trunk that I showed you in the beginning in, in, in the previous video I recorded. All we're going to do is take glass gems. Now I chose to use green, but you could use multicolors. You can make it any color you want. You can create other shapes. It doesn't have to be a Christmas tree. It could be a star. It could be any other shape you want, a snowman. And I find that it's easier to glue things to something. And I wanted to make it clear so that if it flipped around, it would still be pretty on the back without having to then glue something to the back. So let me see if we can focus in on this a little bit better. And I put that little cork that we cut earlier at the bottom. So I'll glue it in a moment. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a be better look at that. So some people may want to cut around it to give it the shape. We don't even have to go through that much trouble. We can leave it on the uh, sheet protector, the card protector. You could probably find something else, like a, another piece of plastic that you could use to glue it to so that you wouldn't have to cut around it. But I think it's pretty as is. So I'll just show you, take you through the steps of just gluing it. It's really simple. I started at one on the top and I glued it to the card protector. Then I went two below so that I, it could gradually increase. The next row will have three and the last row will have four. Once you're all finished that row, then you can glue your cork bottom. I just wanted to show you how it looks before you glue the cork bottom, just in case you may want to put something else at the bottom. But I chose to go with the cork bottom. You could probably put other things on this to make it more decorative, a little star. You could put um, a different type of bottom, but I just kept it kind of simple. So I think this is a really cool craft that you can create with children also. And you, like I mentioned before, you can cut this part out, but I think even if it flips over to the back, it's still pretty. Some people may want to put more glass beads on the back. That would be a great idea. So you can put one color on the front and another color on the back. So when it turns over, you have two different colors. You could put something else, you could cut it out. I like it the way it is because I like the fact that you can put something else in the back through the sleeve because the sleeve is still there or you could just leave it as is. If it flips over, it's fine. So there's the finished ornament. You can attach it with ribbon. You could poke a hole in it. You can just hot glue the ribbon to it. You have so many ideas, and I'm showing you how that dollar store ribbon can be turned upside down to give it a different look. You can go with a different color. You could put a little star on the top. There are so many options with this ornament. A clothespin would work. That's cute. And if you feel that it won't stay on, you could always hot glue it to it. <laughs> hot glue it to it. If not, just poke a hole, you know, use a hole puncher to put a hole through it. So just to go over, we did these crafts and we have one more craft coming up. So we have the picture frame slash wrapping paper ornament, the little snowman, the cedar balls, the lace uh, ornament, the Christmas tree ornament, and here is the other craft that we have coming up in one moment. 
we're just going to take a regular old clothespin and hot glue some gems to it. Now I chose to do it in tones of pink. I used a few of these uh, baked glass marbles. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but you can easily search on YouTube for cracked glass or baked glass marbles. I did a review of them and just wanted to caution you that they do break. So be careful if you do that craft that they won't crack, especially that could be a hazard if you have young children. But it's a just simple thing to do. You can do, I did like shades of pink. You can do different colors. You can do all the same color. And this is such an easy way of creating an ornament that you can use year round. That would be so pretty just to keep on your desk to attach your papers. You could even give it as part of a desk set for someone. So you can give them a beautiful pen. This would be something that you handmade for someone and maybe some great paper. So this would be a really good gift idea. Okay. And that's it. You can do this with rhinestones also if you wanted to go all out. So that's just another quick, easy, inexpensive Christmas ornament that you can create yourself within minutes.